So right now we have our server running. Like if you're checking our server code, you will remember like we have the uh, in the user service the server JS. We have the function login, right? We have the login uh, to to checking um, like a who who's logging in, right? Which takes a username and the password as input. Yeah, it takes username and password. So let's um, let, let, let's uh, send out the request to the server from a React component from and uh, see if we can log it in, right? So in here we're gonna check we're gonna run a function login and takes a this uh, state the username and this does state the password, right? So once we check, make sure that we have our both username and password. Then we send out what we call the function this star this star logging. Right, let's start logging. And let's create these functions in here. Let's create it here, this function. Logging. Which is a function takes a, a username and password. And uh, it's gonna do something. So what we're gonna do here, we are sending out a request to the uh, server. See if it allows me to log in, right? Let's um, create a, a wait, uh, a synchronous call, because it's what's in our other request. Oh, actually, I need to put it here, I believe. Yeah, this is a way to, to make it asynchronous. Oh, uh, it's uh, it, it, you can just create it as a normal function, but I just prefer to write an uh, error function. But it, it can, you can still create it like a login, uh, which takes the username and password and uh, as a function. It's the same thing. And make it make a sinker here. Well, I just feel like uh, uh, you can write all the functions as a as a function. So it's it's just a, a habit. But you can just write a normal function. It's the same thing. Um, so uh, in here, we are first another request, right? Let's send a wait. Well, that's not a request. Um, so how do we send out a request? It's going to be, actually, I'm not recording. Let me record the, the video. Oh, it's, it is recording. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything here. Yeah. So we are going to have a constant risk. Is equal to await. Um, and then we are going to send out a request. Uh, to send out a request, remember, like, if we're using Angular, we can just directly using the uh, the, the Angular's the, the 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 HTTP module, right? Like in the React, we don't have it. We, we're going to have send it out uh, with a uh, the French uh, with a default uh, Angular uh, the, the the JavaScript uh, method called a French, uh, which is uh, allows us to send out the request and getting response uh, French API. But I just feel like it's not uh, uh, as easy as using some, some libraries. So actually, I'm going to introduce a library here. Instead of using French, we're going to use a library and not a, a request. It's called Axios. Because Axios, uh, Axios uh, request or something like that. Just called Axios. Yep. So this is a, a library that, uh, that uh, people created based on the, uh, on the Angular's uh, request. We lo that someone loads from the Angular, like an Angular, oh, the Angular is using, uh, using their, their own uh, HTTP request, which is really convenient, and it's very, very pro. So, but Angular itself, the, the library, it, it, that, that framework is too big. How about we just extract the, the, the request part and to make it a smaller package, we can use it everywhere we want. So this is, uh, the, the, so the people created the Axios, right? So it's uh, if you checking their uh, HT, uh, the, 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 the GitHub page, you will see like this is uh, uh, the gonna mention Axios is heavily inspired by the HTTP service provided in Angular, and uh, it is yeah. So it is just uh, uh, allows you to using the Angular's way to send out a request and get a response outside of the Angular project. Let's install this package. So it's gonna do. Uh, npm install dash dash save axios
you know, install a lot of packages. Most of them are the, are the same ones as the ones in, in, in the Angular project, and they just introduce one new package, which is called uh, Anxios. Send out request and getting response. Uh, yeah, we will import the access and using that send out request. You can check in the syntax in the GitHub page, but we're going to introduce it uh, by me. We're going to just directly use it here. So uh, running on the server and let's import it. Import. We're going to import Axios from Axios. Right, import the whole package. And in the login function again, we're going to see we're going to waiting for Axios to send out a post request. Uh, uh, sorry, kind of uh, risk is equal to await. We're waiting for the access and out post request. It's to uh, slash API uh, login. A, I think a login takes a, a username, right? It uh, takes a user, right? If I don't remember it wrong. Uh, it takes a user or takes a username? I kind of forget. I think it takes a user. Uh, login, it takes a or e request a user. Uh, login, let's, let's make sure how did we do it that in the in the our Angular project. I kind of like forget it. So WebMaker, uh, in my source app service, I have my user service here. User service. It's gonna open with code. I want to check it. Right, this is my user service. I just want to check it. Uh, for the login, where is my login? Login, login here. Uh, takes a user, right? It takes a URL, so now it takes a user as a, as an input, right? So now HTTP the post, the URL, and the URL user. So we're just gonna send the user out. Same. Let's let's do it in our user in here. Um, so it's going to be um, a user. Let's create a user. Constant user is equal to a, a, a username and the password. This is our user object. Um, and then we're going to send out the, the, the user. Yeah. So uh, this, this is uh, actually a shortcut. Like uh, uh, if you have the, uh, th this shortcut for that, like uh, uh, the, the full syntax is going to be uh, is equal to user, has a username is equal to the given username. And the password is equal to the giving uh, password. But when the uh, when the when the uh, the port in name and the value they are they are the same, we can just uh, just write the username. It's just a shortcut for that, All right? Just short short way to, to write it. Yeah, you can just write it uh, uh, in this way. So if you don't understand, you're trying to write a username equals username, password equals password. And we're sending out this request to the server and then waiting for a response. Um, right. So once we get our response, let's try to cancel log our response. See what we have here. Cancel the log our uh, risk the I think it's risk the, the data. Yeah, this is how we handle the, the promise. Everything's gonna be stored in the risk data. Actually we just, just cancel log the risk. Let's see what we have in the response. So let's try it. Um, I believe it's not going to work. So, oh, actually, we have some user in the database, but I actually forget what we have there. Uh, let's try it. So if I log in as a user, one, uh, just uh, add this, password uh, uh, 123, login. Let's give me an arrow, says uh, 3000. It shouldn't be 3000, it should be 3001. Did I miss something? Uh, 
I already I already have the profile here. Uh, sorry, no, the the pro proxy here. So now to local one hundred. And uh, login and the uh, slash API slash login. It should work. Let me try it again. Why it's still sending out to look who's a sorty sorty hundred should be sorty sorty one. Uh, I just tried it. Um, Let me check my GitHub, make sure I didn't do it wrong. Um, GitHub. The patch JSON. Not here. I'm checking the client side. Have the proxy of the 100. I don't see anything wrong here. Let's try to make it as a arrow function. Is that the reason? I don't think so, but I can try it. Right, let's try it. Um, no, it's not. Weird. Um, let me think about it. Uh, just give me a second. Let me try it over here. Uh, <coughs> I tried it last week, it was working, but why it stops working? Let's try it. Let me check it. Oh, this forty-two hundred should be sort sort thirty hundred, right? Yeah. Still doesn't work. Um, let me change. Let's check it. This should be changed to a sort sort hundred. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to with my old project. See if that works. Just still run it. Give it a second. Yeah, forty-two should be sort sort hundred right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, so right, let me try it here. This is my old uh, project. Let's try it here. Well, this one is still not working, send it to the forty hundred. Actually, it, it should work because it says 404 on the right. That means if I reach the user, even if it says 300, it's still working. Yeah, it's still working. Yeah, it's still working. So, yeah, it's, it's just how it looks like. Okay, I understand. So, this, um, um, let's first see a change this, this, restart the npm start to start the project so just f uh, don't forget to change the local host uh, 4200 uh, to 300 in the server JS. I think it's just writing as a it's still showing like a for, uh, 3000 but actually the request is sent out to the 3100 because of that proxy um, I actually didn't notice that but actually it's sending it to the correct uh, please, it's okay. Give it a second. It actually works. <coughs> sure. Hey, it works. Yeah, you mean it, 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 the the proxy is sh it's still showing you're sending a request to the thirty hundred, but it actually is sending to the thirty one hundred. Uh, just just waiting for a second. It's starting the developer server. Uh, waiting for this to show. In. Computer is super slow. Mm. Almost there. Oh yeah, it's not showing anything. That's correct. Let's go to slash login. Go to login page, and uh, F12. Open the console. So when I type like some randoms, uh, two 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 login, it's showing I'm on the rest. It's basically saying, um, remember if you remember like how it's showing in the Angular, it's basically showing the same thing. It's just saying your username and password don't match. If I just type in the one one, I think I have this user, login. It's not showing any error. This is the response I'm getting from the data. You see, in the data, this is the user with a username equal to one, password is encrypt, and first name, last name, email, right? And all the information is in the user data. So that means if we're getting something other than the error, we are allowed to log in. Right? If you just type something random, it's not going to return to me the rest of the data. Instead, it's going to just give me an error. So if we can log in, it's going to show me the risk data, see the risk response, and in the data part, we're getting the user information. So that means we're going to check if we are getting an error or we are getting a, a, a response from the from the uh, server. So here we're going to uh, use a technology called a try and a catch. Uh, in this case, we're going to firstly we're going to try. 
We're gonna try to run this one. I'm gonna try to run uh, counts is equal to await the Excel's the post post. If we're getting any error, we're going to have a catch, which is going to help us to catch our error and doing whatever we want it. Alright? So if there any error happens, what we want to do is like I want to set up this uh, uh, set state. We're gonna set up the arrows. Seeing there's an error message, uh, which is uh, we can call it a match, and call it a username and a password, uh, not match. Right? Okay, we can say it like that, and not match. Uh, but if that, is, but if we can uh, log in, that we didn't get any error, we should never get a user to the profile, right? We should never get a user to the profile. So what we can do is like we can say I'm gonna navigate this uh, uh, props. Like to 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 navigate a user to another page. Uh, then uh, th this is a uh, uh, in the React to do that. And then in, in Angular it's easy. We're gonna in include the the, uh, the router package and do a router to navigate. And in the React we're going to do it a little bit different. It's going to be we're gonna push that URL path into its history. So it's going to be this uh, props, the history, the push. Just remember that. I'm going to push it uh, with the URL pass uh, slash user and uh, slash with the user's ID, right? User's ID is from uh, risk the data the ID. That's the user's ID. So, so That is a that is a browser history. So if you push that, it's going to be pushed as a last one, which is going to be pushed as a current page. And then when you go back, it goes to the previous page. When this is just the way that the 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 because the, uh, the the router of the of a React is called a browser route. So if you push something into the history of it, it basically navigates you to that page. Right? So just remember, if you want to navigate to another page, you just push that to the history. Perhaps the history. It's just uh, the way the its routing works. Uh, the data that, um, where you get that. Risk data. Yeah. Remember, once we log in, it's going to getting a response from it. Forget that. Let's try to comment it out. Let's console log it. Console the log uh, risk dot uh, risk. So let's try to log in one one. Let's say here is my risk data. It has a. It has a. This is my response. Inside it, it has a data. And data is basically the user information. Has it is that admin? Yeah, what is the data created? What is user email, first name, last name, username, is the password, username, and ID. Want to get an ID of it? Yeah, that's just the user information. What is the response from the from the from the server? So let's just navigate to that page. Let's try it. All right. So let's try to log in with uh, with with one one right now. Username one, password one. Let's click login. Right in the profile page, right? You see, like the, it's, it, the your path changed to local three hundred slash user slash with this user's ID. That's how it works. But if I try to log in with some random username and password, if it, it's not going to navigate me to any page, otherwise it's going going to give me an error. Let's say it gave me an error. And we're going to catch that error and doing something here to um, to to we're gonna display this message on the screen. We're gonna display that on the screen, right? Right now we're gonna hide that by default. But when there's any error, we're gonna show that. All right. So uh, let's let's change that. Here's your message. We only want to show that. It's adding a calibrus of it. We only want to show that when the uh, this star state, the uh, arrows, the match is is equal to, to to something other than empty. Then we show that, right? Let's see how it looks like. So if I type something random, it's gonna show the message, right? If I type some type the correct message, it's gonna log me in. Yeah, I can go back. Right, that's how it works. So if I have something random, it's not gonna show it. It's not gonna work.
All right, you should have the same thing as mine right now. Allows you to log in. Our login function is actually works. I can check my username and allows me to log in. I'll uh, stop it for a few minutes and see if you can make a login work. I'll upload the video for the login part.